Now you will see a side view of this farm. Now Master Xu will show the applications of this form. The first one we're going to do is the P Dang. I do the solo first, and then the usage. And then we're going to analyze the movement in this P Dang technique. Now we will do the slow motion step by step to analyze the movement. First of all, it's punch coming toward me. I block, try to block his arm. If I can successfully do, it will be like this. But before I reach this level, he bent his one. May this try in vain. But here shows a leak. I want to get in, dig the eyes, throw, whatever area here are variable. So I tried this, but he broke. So the third one, I'm going to use, use my body to control this arm so I can get in. And my end arm control the elbow so he cannot make any other changes. At the same time, my knee is behind his knee, his leg, to shake his foundation. And the knee, the leg, and arm go together, down. down. The second application we're going to do call Hu Pu. I do the solo first. Now we're going to analyze the movement step by step. First of all, it's a strike coming toward me on the upper level. I use the same technique to block. Reduce the power. Redirect the movement instead of hitting my head. My other hand sneak in, control the elbow, so he won't be able to deliver an elbow attack. Control the elbow, and also slide in, try to get the face, the eyes, throw this area. So he broke. So this time, my left hand control the both hands. Right hand sneak in, get the door open. My whole body hitting him and catch his front leg. He's strong. I had to shake his foundation and push him, lay him down. You might follow up by other movements. 
to complete the whole technique. The third technique we're going to show called Kelda Dinzo. Solo first. Now we are going to explain the last technique, Kelda Dinzo. First of all, a punch coming toward me. I'm using my upper hand to block. Instead of knocking away, I'm rolling my arm to reduce the power, redirect the direction. At the same time, I'm going to kick his front leg, but he hide away. I try to get to his gun, cannot reach because target all hiding. And what happened is here showing a big leak between our two arms and my attacking leg and another palm. So he's going to leak in to give me a punch, twist his body, to knock me out this way. But before he can reach me here, when the punching throw toward me, I'm going to use my arm to take care of this punch at the same time, get in, get my elbow ready, and place my foot behind him, my knee, truck his knee, and use my elbow attack, get him down. Right. Last technique we're going to do called Jinji Duri. I show the solo first. We're going to analyze the movement we just went through. First of all, I attack the punch through toward me like so. I'm going to reduce the power, redirect the punch like this. And what I tried to do was try to get in him, maybe to get in the door to his chest area or underneath. But he twist and use his hand to push my hand away. Here shows a leak. So I give away this hand, only using my arm. My body control this hand. It's not allowed for him to do any movement toward my body. So through my palm towards his face. But he broke. Turns his elbow, redirect my palm strike behind his head. In this kind of chance, either I can attack his groin or stomach and with my hand shaving movement to make the damage. But he's much smarter than to take the damage. Instead, he roll away, do a roll, go one, two, three. Now, Master Adam Shu will demonstrate the condensed form of Chen style Tai Chi.
Now, Master Adam Shu will demonstrate the applications of Tai Chi. The first technique we're going to do called Jing Gang Dao Cui. I will show the solo first, and then the usage. And then we're going to analyze the usage step by step, show you the, all the technique. Now the solo. First of all, there's a punch through to warm it like so. I use one hand to catch his elbow. This is a double protection. Okay, grab his wrist. Redirect power this way. My hand slide in. I try to use something here. But he's faster. The second delivery is coming. I have to reduce his power, redirect his fist. By the same time, my first hand, it doesn't stop. Still continue rolling and try to do it one arm to control two hands. So I got a free hand, give it a punch at the same time, knee attack to the stomach or the groin area. Got a reaction. And then this is the footwork coming. Take away his space. Completed technique. Oh. So the second technique we're going to use called Lan Zha Yi. Solo first. Now we will analyze the movement. The first punch he delivered toward me are using crossing hand to block instead of the same side of hand. This is a different technique. Go this way, you slide in. Certainly I will try to do something. But before I can make that kind of attack, there's another second delivery coming toward me. And this time I'm going to do, use my arm sliding on his arm, you've got to be able to pass the elbow, reach his shoulder area. At the same time, I sweep in my foot, destroy his foundation. Maybe this is not enough. So the third part of my body I'm using is my hip. So the actual movement students like so. You got the foot, hip, get in and arm. That's the Lan Zai. The third technique we're going to show called Bao Fu Gui San. I will do the solo first. He's going to grab me here, there. Okay, maybe going to throw me to the ground or attack my throat or face area. First thing I'm going to block is like so two hand to two hand blocking. But it's not trying to push him. He's going to push me back like they do this kind of business. And instead, when he continues his pushing movement, I'm going to redirect his pushing movement to this 
area to the empty space. What I'm using is not using hand grab, but the forearm technique. After so, after this moment, I try to do is still bottling his power, give it back to his body. Maybe not strong enough, shake the foundation and push here. You cannot run away, still cut the leg. You can do other movement to complete the technique. The last technique we're going to show called Dan Bien. I do the solo first. When I attack coming toward you in this level, chest to your face level. First of all, you want to use arm to reduce the power and try to control the elbow. This way, you won't be able to deliver a second attack like so. If you can reach there, you're safe. You want to get in. First one is your hip. Shoulder, attack. Knock the door, get a reaction, enough room. This movement won't kill people, but the next ball, elbow attack in mind. If still not enough, followed by the palm strike. Not necessary punch, you can attack the throat, eyes area. If attack coming toward you, a little bit slightly toward this angle. You're going to press your foot, penetrate his two foot. This is the foot where I'm showing to that side. You can see so closely your hip and shoulder contact first. Get the reaction, use the elbow, and then that's the movement. Complete that bit. Now, Master Adam Shu will demonstrate San Tsai Qian Sword. Now, Master Adam Shu will explain the usage of San Tsai Qian Sword. This is a sword, Chinese sword. In Mandarin, we call it Jian. So this is a Jian. As you can see, it has double edge and very sharp in tip. San Tsai Jian is from Xing Yi system. The San Tai Jian form we learned not only for the solo practice, but also can break the two parts, part one, part two, and to do the two-person usage training. 
which we're going to show them a little bit later. Right now, I'm going to analyze some of the San Chai Jian basic principle. Let's start from the very beginning, why we call it San Chai Jian. Try going to show you a posture. San Chai Jian. San Chai translated to English, heaven, earth, man. Actually, that indicate three level. Upper part, middle, and the lower portion of our, our body. In a soul fight, those three are different target area. What we try to do is to launch our soul to either heaven or earth part or man, the middle portion of our animal. But at the same time, you also have to be very careful in taking care of yourself because your own body also can be divided to three parts and those part, three parts are the potential target for your animal. So now we are going to show you the two-person usage form step by step to analyze the technique and the basic principle. First of all, this is a guiding position. If try going to deliver an attack to the middle portion will be to wear my heart like so. The correct technique is not to block like this or deliver again, hide away your body. San Chai Jian teach us when an attack coming toward you, you want to do is what? To disarm your enemy. Cut his wrist. Okay? So this movement is a defensive movement. But at the same time, to disarm my enemy, it's attacking retaliation, like so. So my middle portion is very safe. But when I'm doing this, my higher level or lower part of my body is showing a leak, like the building is leaking. When it's raining, water is going to leak in like this. Here. So what I need to do is to fix the leak, like so. Again, this is a wrong movement. We try to do cut the rest. So my higher portion is safe, but my lower part showed in another leak, leaking area. Try going to do probably going to cut my leg. Let's see what's going to happen. My response shouldn't like this. Instead, before he can really reach my knee, I'm going to cut his wrist like so. And hide away, this is the potential target area. Target disappeared, but also I'm going to cut his hand. He's going to hide away like this. His hand, safe. But here, showing a big leak. So in this position, it's very easy for me to attack his main portion, middle portion, like so. But try going to hide away. The target disappears, but also he's going to sweep my hand. So I have to hide. When I hide, my chest area is showing a big leak. Try going to attack. I'm going to fix this leak like so. Instead of hide away, but also approaching, get the inner side. So I'm in better position. Try to use my sword, push him away, but he redirect my power toward the sky. That's the first section of San Chai Jian two-person form. Now Master Xu will demonstrate two-man San Chai Qian sword.